I'm standing for Parliament because I want to represent the area that I've lived my entire life. There is no doubt that the Liberal Democrats are the party of diversity. And I hope you've got some really tough questions for us about inclusion, about fairness and equality. In the run-up to the 2015 general election, East Kent Mencap and its partners began a series of projects to enable people with learning disabilities to engage with the democratic process. Because you hear it on the news and you don't know who's to vote for, what, and they're all, they're all not very good anyway now. This film documents the extensive work undertaken by the learning disabled community to make sure their voices were heard by the parliamentary candidates in their constituencies. One in four adults with a learning disability spend less than one hour outside their home each day because of cuts to local service. Nine out of ten people with learning disabilities have been a victim of hate crime. You are the voice of the people. Hear my voice. Please hear my voice. Please hear our voice. Please hear my voice. It's just that this affect 1.4 million people with a learning disability and their families. Most politicians do not understand how these things impact on people's lives. Please hear my voice. Please hear my voice. Hear my voice. Let me know that you are listening. Thank you. The Hear My Voice campaign started with Royal Mencap, approaching East Kent Mencap to do some work. And we, we knew we wanted to deliver it in the way of PowerPoint presentation, but it needed to be fun and upbeat as well. So we thought about you know putting quizzes in because we, we found that people don't want to just sit there just being talked at. So we thought, well, if we do it in small groups or through a quiz or through um, something visual like a role play, for example, um, it works far better and people remember the information. I don't know who to vote for because then uh, one's, two of them's pally, one of them's not very good. I might, I might have to vote for the Green Party because nothing will get done. So we, we had a couple of sessions or more of sitting down and thinking about how does it actually first start? Do people actually know uh, what voting is all about? Is, you know, so we take it back to choices first of all and then talk about Parliament. Who knows about Parliament? Who can identify different people who work in Parliament? How do they get there? What do they do? So, and these are the people that turned up today. Stand up and nervous, say. So. We decided to go on choices first of all, to start very basic. We tried to take it back to just being a bit more fun. So, using colours, using quiz techniques, making it a bit light, you know, a heavy subject, very light. Where do you go to vote? Do you go to Red, the post office? So, we all talked together about how we could actually present it, how we could make that. Um, transition from people actually making choices to actually voting and casting their vote and understanding what they're casting their vote about, you know, uh, the importance, you know, of people learning disabilities actually having a say. You saying to us to go out and get jobs, there is no jobs out there for us. We haven't got enough money for paying into the hospitals, private hospitals. And it's all right for you saying Oh, privatise this and privatise that and cut our benefits down. What about your wages, yeah? We're just getting fed up with it. People with a learning disability have the right to vote. 
but only around one in three people with a learning disability use the right to vote. Registrating to vote can be confusing and off-putting for someone with a learning disability. What, what I'd done was I voted on the internet to be post to vote, so and wait for a letter to come through so I could do that. By posts or someone else can do it for you. You can do it by post. Or you go to the booth. When you do uh, voting, they fold the paper up mm. yes. and put it in the box. They do the manifestos and nobody can actually understand what exactly they're promising to do, so we wanted something in easy to understand information and for people to ask real life questions, you know, not, not something that they've been told to say, but something that's important to them. I like to stop cruelty to animals. A little bit, but money salad. Like health. Employment. Homes. Hospitals. Education. We're learning what voting's all about. I went to Thai District Council, we were very, very good and they gave me easy read registration forms, which none of the other districts have actually seen at all. And I got the voting booths and the black box, you know, the ballot box as well, so they were real life things, they could make a connection. And we set those up and go into homes, um, into community centres, um, you know, the district partnership groups. Round one is all about elections. I'm excited. <laughs> what is an election? Is it number one, a big party for politicians? Your chance to vote for people. You want to make decisions about the country. Okay, that's bad. So has anybody got a different answer. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there is me thinking that the majority of you have fallen asleep during that workshop. And then we started thinking about, you know, district council should actually have pictures of people because people that can't read, they're just a mass of words. You know, they might have like the logos, which is the only thing they can look out for, but then they're in black and white. And they're not colour, so people aren't picking up on different things. So it, it's kind of highlighted quite a few things that is not right and is not really very equal. This, what's this box called again? Ballot box. box. Okay. Okay. Is it box. private? Yes. 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 What yes. happens to all these votes inside now? Yes. Yes. They get counted, yes. don't they? Yes. Do they get counted yes. all over the country? Yes. yes. They all get put together and perhaps have to one big number. Yes. And what happens after that? We work with the police, we work with uh, National Health, um, small groups, community centres, residential homes. It's a whole array of people, so I just believe in if we work partnership working, then we can just get a lot more people through um, into more independent living. <laughs> and Ed Miliband, wasn't it? They had a coalition, so it's been yeah, It was a yeah. level Democrat. It was Cameron and level Democrat. Sorry, you're quite right, you're quite right. No, where, where, where uh, learning disability adults can go to, like, social clubs to socialise, there's not anything for the adults just either. Everything gets vandalised, the toilets get vandalised. It's not right, it's not fair. I've worked on a zero hours contract. I have 20,000 pounds worth of students. In March, we held a Huskins event, giving people with learning disabilities the chance to speak. Candidates from the five main parties starting for a lesson in Senate were there. The topics that were covered included public transport, employment, leaving school, health care and taxes. This is the first time that the candidates from all the different political parties can talk about their approach to, to fairness, to equality and to justice. They were listening to people's questions and giving them genuine answers um, and, and trying their best to make it an easy to understand language when they actually replied to people. And we had Tanya who sat on the top table as well. You're trying to keep people in time, but also saying on the odd occasion, no, we didn't really understand that word. Could you 
Could you make that a little bit more easy for people to understand? What would you do to make sure that disabled people can use their free bus passes before 9.30 a.m. so that we can get to college or voluntary work on time? The Freedom Pass, which is the bus pass for younger people, um, was recently reformed. So you could only use it at certain times. And they actually took away the freedom of the Freedom Pass. It no longer became a pass that you could go wherever you wanted, whenever you wanted. And that was a choice. And the Conservatives of Kent County Council have decided to put their money into other things. You're going to try and get more jobs for disability people. How can you sit there and say that when someone like me that's got disability can't fill out an application form because I can't read and I can't spell and I can't use a computer, I've got no way to fill out the application form online. It's very simple. We have to educate everybody in our society that you've got a contribution to make. Now, the fact that you cannot necessarily follow the normal routes to employment because you can't follow that process is something that needs to be exposed and we need to find a way that you can do that. I'd like to say the majority of the people that actually turned up were coming to really see what people wanted. Great to see people standing outside, you know, with their ballot paper, you know, ready to go in. Everybody has the potential to, to make something of their lives. You know, everyone has something that they can actually offer, things they might not be very good at, but things that they excel at. And it's about drawing those things out, making people feel confident to do those things. Go and vote. Vote, very important. If you do vote, you can say something. If you don't vote, don't say anything. <laughs>